hi guys you're welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is ria and i'm a lifestyle and immigration content creator living in ireland if this is your first time seeing my beautiful face you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much so in today's video as you guys can already see from the title we are talking everything finances everything cash everything ego everything ibigi according to my language but before I start this video, I just want to put out a disclaimer there. I did not read anything that has to be finance. I am not a financial investor or an advisor. I am just one who is here to kind of like, you know, put value to my subscribers and to people out there based upon my own research, based upon my own experience. But I hope you learn a thing or two. And most of the times when it's a new season or a new year we all want to you know think of how we want to improve on our finances do better with our income save more you know invest more but one of the things that we actually do not really focus on when we have goals like this is ways to increase our income because the truth is if you have a higher income you would definitely be able to save more you would definitely be able to spend more probably and even invest more there are certain things that i would actually you know be advising or recommending that we actually do in order to increase our income it's actually easier said than done once someone tells you oh get a higher paying job it's not as easy as that but there are ways that will lead you to that path there are things that you could do that would help you you know get better, learn new skills, be marketable in order to get higher paying jobs. So for example, I recommend self-improvement, self-tutoring. There are platforms that you could use, you know, to get better at your skill. For example, let's say you're into marketing and you're just probably doing like the entry level marketing. You could go on Udemy. There is a website. I'll leave the website down in my description box. You could check Udemy.com. There are also LinkedIn courses that you could actually take to, you know, better your skills, to improve on yourself. Once you do that, you attach that to your CV, you apply for higher paying roles. Trust me, one way or another, you would definitely get it. It will probably take a while, but using this platform or doing things that will help you to build your skills, get better skills at whatever field you're in, because people that are even in that level, it was probably knowledge and experience that actually took them there. So if they can do it and get those high paying jobs, why can't you another way to you know increase your income and i would suggest would be getting a side hustle i know that um sometimes some people would be really okay with their nine to five pay and that would be fine like that's actually okay if your nine to five is paying you enough to save and you know spend and invest that's actually fine for people that are not earning as much as and they're not able to get a higher paying job you know very easily getting a side hustle you know doing something that will give you an additional income would actually help in order to boost your total income for the year for example if you don't have any skills trust me you can actually learn anything check your passion what do you love to do do you love to write do you love to sing are you bold do you think you can you can handle a youtube channel start one you can sell products online you can consider going into coaching you can consider going to consulting you know you can do freelancing if you're if you're good with you know taking pictures you can venture into photography videography you know being a video editor start up a youtube channel sell products online you know you can do literally anything if you if you love to sing you can probably start like you know you can start singing maybe start from instagram do some covers of some songs just literally do things you know that will enable you get that extra income and by having a side hustle trust me that's also another way to increase your income no matter how small it may be no matter how small the income is from this side hustle little drops they say actually make you know a mighty ocean for example myself i have a nine to five job and i'm also here doing youtube at the side i'm having this side hustle here just to you know amplify what i have for the year because the truth is that you can't actually really get your financial goal or you can't actually increase wealth if you don't have income moving on to my second point the second point in order to increase um your wealth in 2022 would be to spend less than you earn trust me this is something that i myself i have been struggling with for a while like i will get salary now let's say in a month i will use it with the hope of oh another one is going to come within the next four weeks or within the next two weeks you know when you have that assurance that you're working so regardless of how much you spend 
there is money coming because you know that there is money coming you can just absently like unconsciously just you know spend the money without having a budget and that's something that i have been struggling with for a while but then i, I started to realize that if i keep on spending just as the money comes there will never be a room for saving there will never be a room for investing and also the thing is even if you're having a high paying job like you're having a salary that pays you well and you also have like a very good side hustle and you're not spending less you're just you know finishing the money as it comes you will not be able to save you will not be able to invest or nothing one thing i will recommend is having to you know have a talk with yourself and having to you know differentiate between your wants and your needs understand your priority for example let me use myself at the moment i have been craving to get a vlogging camera let's say a canon g7 mark ii and it's just there as part of my wants it's not something that i really need at the time because i already have a camera that i can use to film my sit down videos and i also vlog with the only problem is just that the camera is really bulky and having to go out and vlog and you know it's just very heavy and it's big and all eyes will be turning but with a vlogging camera it's smaller it's compact it's easier a lot of people will not really notice it as fast as and you'll not be so shy as once you bring out like a dclr camera but it's not what i really need at the time as opposed to thinking about what i'm going to eat for the month my transportation for the month so i'll recommend having a talk with yourself put it down on the table what are your wants what are your needs what do you think you can sacrifice for maybe when you have you know extra money that you can just use what do you think you need now as opposed to what you want having that talk with yourself actually you know puts you in a better line to knowing what you need to spend money and what you don't need to spend money on so moving on to my next point i think a lot of people have actually said this a lot of people say this point but i don't think it has been said as much as so i'm here to you know enhance or amplify the point that says have an emergency fund as easy as it is to say it is necessary to also do having an emergency fund is very important like I cannot overemphasize this enough, really. Having an emergency fund would literally save your life. Emergency funds is like, you know, a protection that will save you from a circumstance that you didn't think would happen or happen. I will take that again. Emergency fund is like a protection that would save you from circumstances that you didn't think would happen what happened i think that you actually all need to you know be prepared for the worst for example last year i was in a very difficult place that the only thing that would actually or that came through for me at the time was my emergency fund you'll probably be saying oh for example i'm earning just 30k naira 30,000 naira or 50k or 50,000 naira what emergency fall down to create out of that and then save at the same time and then invest at the same time trust me you don't really have to you know put all of your money or half of your money into the emergency fund just about 0.5 to 1 percent at least every month in your emergency fund will actually go a long way it will come in handy the day that you actually need it the same that goes you know little drops of water make a mind to ocean it probably will not make sense you probably will look at your emergency fund and say oh it's just 5k a day so like let me just cook my use it or you know spend it or put it somewhere else no have a separate emergency fund for example i'll recommend maybe having a different account from your normal account that you save and in order to probably discipline yourself to knowing that that's an emergency fund probably don't order a debit card that's what i did or that's what i do i have an emergency fund that you know it's a different account and i don't have like an atm card for it that helps me to realize that it's not part of my money and I cannot just use it like that i would also recommend maybe having a physical piggy bank account if you are not want to maybe put your money in the bank or have multiple accounts everywhere you can have like you know this physical piggy bank or saving box where you can be able to you know put in your money as the day goes by and leave it there as your emergency fund or you can probably you know go in there are different platforms that actually you know help people have emergency funds for example if you're in nigeria you could you know have an account with piggy bank you probably have an account with carry wise there are a lot of platforms now these days that are into um helping people um increase wealth or be financially independent and then having an emergency fund is also something that will probably save you from having to borrow borrow from the bank or borrow from your family or friends at a higher you know interest rates because you 
you know if you have your own money and you're able to take from there that would be better than having to go to a bank or an institution or your friend or family to borrow from and then you have to now start paying you know an extra or a higher interest rates all in all i'm just trying to say girl boy have an emergency fund I cannot overemphasize this enough. Like it's literally important for you to have an emergency fund. Some people call it a different name, but I can't say that because YouTube will take the video down. But yeah. And then the fourth point would be paying off your debts. This is something that I think should probably even be the first point because if you are owing people or you're owing a bank or your family or your friend and trust me if you're just owing, if you're just having debt somewhere, maybe from your tuition fee, maybe from hospital bills, you know, electricity bills, maybe just a family or a friend, you're just literally owing something. You won't have that financial freedom, you know, for you to save freely or even invest. You need to eliminate every debt that you're owing. That should be the first thing to do in order to, you know, increase your wealth in 2022. If you're owing any debt, I'll always advise that you start with the ones that have a higher interest rate because the truth is that if you have borrowed money from a bank from somebody that has said oh i'm, I'm going to borrow you 100,000, but you have to pay back an extra 50k that's 150 you would prefer or advise you to start with paying off those kind of debts first debts that come with higher interest rate because the more you owe and the day goes by the higher it becomes and it just makes it almost impossible like almost impossible for you to save anything or even invest anything so eliminating any debt whatever form it is is like another way for you to increase your wealth because if you're financially debt free like you're not owing anybody you would now know that okay whatever i'm earning from my job or whatever i'm earning from my side hustle is what i'm focusing on i will now have you know a better understanding on how to you know share my priorities and share my my money into different sectors so you're going to be sharing money into the investing platform into saving into emergency fund you won't want to be thinking about having to you know pay up debts because if you already owe interest me you'll not be able to do all of these things all i'm trying to say is try to pay your debts first before you even think of you know saving anything that's also a way to gain you know financially free and also helping you to increase your wealth and then the last point for this video is learn how to invest there are a lot of investments that i would say you could venture in you don't have to do the 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 most trust me you could just start with investing in little things for example agriculture there are platforms and there are websites that you could you know invest in they do you know the whole cash out investment they'll say oh probably drop twenty thousand naira and in the next six or eight months or a year you have a return of 20 percent you could even venture into stocks cryptocurrencies um real estates even music you know entertainment there are a lot of things that you could you know venture into paper making you just need to do the research yourself but trust me it's one thing to you know have the money it's another thing to save the money but if you're literally just saving the money in the bank there, the money won't grow. And that's the truth. If you save 100,000 Naira in the bank, at the end of the year, it will still be 100,000 Naira. But if you take that risk and you learn how to invest and you go into investments and they are doing well, like you're earning profit, that 100,000 Naira could probably turn into at least 150K or 200,000 by the end of the year. That's better than, you know, just saving the money in the bank. So that's another way for you to increase wealth and, you know, become financially independent in 2022 research about things that you want to you know go into and then do it don't just save the money and now i'm saying a lot of things here like i'm saying you should save i'm saying you should you know get an emergency fund but i'm also saying that you need to invest you need to actually do these three things if you save money in a bank with a normal current account trust me there will literally be no interest added to it but if you probably use a savings account you would get like interest rates depends on the bank and what they are you know annual interest rate is at the end of the year but it won't be as much as you having to use your money to invest investing actually you know helps to build your net worth and it gives you confidence it leads you to the journey of you know financial freedom it's a decision that you will never ever regret so invest today guys like just invest to conclude this video guys in order to actually increase your wealth in 2022 or any other year saving investing and increasing your income are three things that would actually take you there 
there and also just to you know compliment this video consistency is actually key it's one thing to know about these things that i'm saying it's one thing to hear them it's one thing to start it's one thing to implement but it's a huge thing to follow through you don't just want to say okay ria has said this i'm going to open a savings account i'm going to have an emergency fund and then you just maybe put like a small money there and then by february or march you have stopped you know looking out for this account you have stopped putting any money there you have stopped you know looking for ways to improve on your investment plan trust me it will just be like you didn't start at all so consistency is actually key guys consistency is something that we need in every aspect of our life not just if you're starting a business or if you run your youtube channel you need to be consistent in this in this aspect in this financial aspect of our lives in order to see the growth that we, we we hope to achieve so don't just listen to what i'm saying don't just write it down don't just say oh you've heard try to follow through with it try to be consistent with it that's like the major key factor in order to actually you know increase your wealth and to be in a better place than you were in previous years if you guys like to see more content like this maybe content about you know how to save your money side hustle jobs you could do you know because i need to back up all the things i'm saying if you like to see more content regarding this financial you know talk that we had today please leave it down in the comment section and let me know if you want to see more content like this keep on applying these rules guys if you have any more points or something that you think that i didn't say that we think will be beneficial to everybody please leave it down in the comment section and let you know go there and chat thank you so much guys for watching if you did um uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button my name is ria and i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye